Oh, well, dang, my hair is looking a little ratchy right now. In this video, this is about 10 things that a lot of people don't know about me, and I feel like this video would be really fun to make because I've been getting more used to how I am with people I don't know. And in case you didn't think I could care less about what people think, well, I just got to, like, level 99. This is actually who I am, and these are 10 things that you didn't know about me. So one of the things I always do is I get really freaked out when anything goes wrong with me. Like, I'll literally call the doctor for a pain in my toe because I think I'm dying. Yeah, uh, hi. I have an earache. Like, it's not in the middle of my ear. It's kind of in the back, but it hurts really bad. Yeah, but I think I'm dying. And honestly, that is a huge issue with me. Like, right now, I'm dealing with something for a week went to the doctors and honestly every time I go to the doctors with something like severely wrong like I had knee pain for a month went in and he was like yeah there's nothing wrong with you but here's some medicine like oh yeah but do I need surgery like I think everything medically wrong with me is serious or I'm dying I literally take a trip to the doctors probably like I don't know, once every two months because something weird happened that it shouldn't happen to like regular people. Another thing that I actually really do and I just started doing this for some reason is like those hand motions where if people saw what you're doing they know what you mean automatically. So this is my famous hand move that everybody just knows automatically what I want. Like, I don't know, I just started doing that because I saw this, like, picture online. And now I do that to everyone that knows me. And everyone that knows me well knows that is my what the frick face, like, is going on. Like, don't you understand? Like, yeah. So, uh, I have weird hand motions and faces where if I make a face, it automatically, like, tells my emotion, like, right there. But it has to be the right hand move. Like, you gotta, you gotta these three fingers, like, right here. It's a technique that you actually have to master to get the perfect, like, what? Like, turn it. Like. <laughs> so when you're doing it, it's kind of like a... Yeah. Just flick it. And it has to curl a little bit. Like, yeah. And then, on top of everything that I just said, I'm really OCD about, like, strange things like Danny Tanner in Family House would probably do. I literally just said Family House. It's actually Full House. Certain things go in certain places on the floor um, in my room. Like, if I had to draw out a layout plan of my floor, there should specifically be a bag right next to the crack in my chair where the art table comes in. If it's not there, like, if I walk in a room, I'll see that and automatically know something was in my room. Also about the OCD thing, I cannot go to sleep if some light in this house or, like, fan is on. Everything has to be shut off. Like, if I could be laying in my bed, like, totally ready to fall asleep, and then, like, in my mind, it's like, I know there's a basement light downstairs that's on, so I'll literally get out of my bed and probably go shut it off. Like, that, that's a thing, and it's really annoying. Another thing that I just can't do is I'll get a plate of food, make the food, and then I'll lay in my bed or whatever, watch TV, and if a commercial comes on, like if the show stops, I stop eating. And like I literally won't eat until some sh kind of show is on, like I will not eat during a commercial or when the show stops. I don't know, but I have like five prime channels and yes, Disney Channel is one of them, but I flip through all of those channels until I find the correct show that I'm in the mood for and then eat. <laughs> That's the thing. And I am very certain that many people actually, um, do this but if I'm like sleeping early in the morning then I wake up and check my texts and my friends ask me to go like somewhere 
I went friends, but yeah. This morning I was asked to go to Cedar Point, and that's two hours away. And I'm kind of saving money for vacation, so... But honestly, I will literally do this, something like this, just to be lazy. Well, I don't know, because I gotta check if I have any swimsuits, because I don't really think I do, like, have anything that fits me. Well, yeah, I didn't go, like, shopping or anything for swimsuits. No, I didn't get any new ones. I know summer's almost over, but yeah, man, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I don't have any. And I'm so sorry to all my friends that I've actually, like, played that card with, but sometimes your girl just feeling a little bit lazy during the summer days here. Yes, I actually do have quite a lot of swimsuits, and I'm not that dumb to uh, not buy any new ones, then, so. Yeah. And then I'm not really sure if I'm the only one that does this, but I tend to, like, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it, but when I get like really hyper, like I'll eat a piece of chocolate and I'll have like maybe five more. One piece of chocolate is probably equivalent to like 10 cans of soda for me. So when I'm with like anyone, like not alone, cause that would be really weird, but I will literally sit there and just laugh at anything and make up really awkward like words. Like yesterday, or two days ago, I was over Jake's house and I decided that it would really be a good idea to make up names starting with each letter of the alphabet. So, as he said the alphabet, like A, B, C, I would literally just think of the first name that would came to my head and I think the most memorable one was actually D. I just randomly said Dark Narc. And that's a thing now, like I literally will call anyone a Dark Narc. What? So that's fun. That's a really fun game. So if you're really bored, just have your friends sing the alphabet like A, B, and then just come up with a random word or name that literally just pops into your head. For the letter S, I would probably say Shikana. That, that's literally the first thing that came Yeah, so I was literally going to do a few more dumb things that are about me to get to like 10, but I think like this is enough because I probably like made you pee a little bit and maybe like ruined your day. This video blog actually ruined my entire day. Like, sorry, 10 out of 10 would not recommend. So, uh, besides the ratchet hair that I'm literally getting rid of, so this is the last video with plum hair, guys. <laughs> the color world trip has officially closed the book for me. Um, I had a lot of fun, Bleach, but thanks for ruining my life. I hope you learned a lot in this tutorial video blog about me. I would love to share more about myself in the future videos I'll be making, which won't be a problem now because I'm really, really friendly with the camera now. Like, we're having a connection. This connection is growing strong and now I can be like, whatever, on the camera. I encourage you guys to be yourself, be the person your cat thinks you are, and have a good day.